Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today I have something good for you because I know that most of you can't really go skiing right now. So instead, how about we build a ski resort? Now this game came out in the early access on January. It has a bit of a twist and the twist is there's actually no money in this game, which I think is very interesting. It's quite unusual for tycoon games. So we're going to be building a ski resort. We do. We're not going to be using money for it, which I think is quite cool. Let's play this crater lake, for example. You'll have three different access points. You can build on all of them. So it's not like you have to choose one. You can build on any of these. So we can look at the map and we can choose. So the first area is over here. I don't like this one because this is the edge of the map. So you can really utilize this side. Another option is this. This one is quite nice. We have a lot of good, fairly steep slopes. So we could do a lot of like black, uh, black slopes for them. Or down here. This one's also good, but this one has a lot of rocky mountains, which is obviously not great because you can't ski on a rock. So let's go over. This is going to be our area. Now here in this half circle is where we can build. So we, the first thing you have to build, let me pause the time, is a builder's lodge. So a builder's lodge allows you to, you know, get the equipment for people who are going to be building. So the first thing you do is you click and then you move around to rotate. So we're going to have it like this. You could also build at the edge of this half circle, but I don't like to do that because that's where the slopes or the lifts are going to go. So because we don't have money, we can't pay any employees. So instead, we're going to assign volunteers. I'm going to let this go on a slow time so that they can move around and build things. Now, next thing we're going to need to build is um, Ski Patrol Lodge. This is very important because if our people or our skiers get hurt, we need to get somebody to go there and save them. And finally, I'm going to build a mechanics workshop. So if something gets broken, we can fix it like so. And now I'm going to start and build my very first lift. Now we have two options. We can do a one person fixed grip surface though. This is essentially the thing where you grab the pole and uh, put it between your legs and you lie right up very slowly. This is typical for like very easy going slopes, you know, like for like green slopes or at most blue slopes. So an area where we could put this is for example, something like this, where the slope is fairly low and should be fairly easy. I think we're going to go like that. So we're going to use this. This is a fairy solo and this is going to be good for the green guys. Now you have a list of skiers here. At the start, we only get three types of gear. So we've got new fallen snow, snow who like the green slopes, sport club kids who like the red slope and snow struck lovers who like the blue slope. But as we advance through the game, we will be able to unlock new types of skiers. Now, when you make the slope, you can pick between narrow, normal and large. I'm going to start this off with large and that's for multiple reasons. First of all, for the green, it's actually easy, good to have like a big slope because they're not that skilled at riding. So you want to make sure that they have areas where they can ski, but also because you can build upon these, these slopes. So what you can do is you can, for example, build like, let's say a soup bar and you can build it somewhere here so they can stop at the soup bar and then continue uh, driving further. So this can be a good idea to have like a large area. For example, what I could do here is I could build a snow groom hanger and I could build it. Well, if, okay, because this is actually too steep for building, but if this wasn't too steep for building, I could build it like here. You don't have the gram or the groomer there, but I think we're actually going to place it here. But it is an option because you are going to run out of space in this half circle fairly quickly. So that's something we want to do. So here we have got our very first slope and it's going to get built soon. Now I do need to place some volunteer to further areas. So we're going to place one here in the ski patrol launch. One here. Actually, this is not built yet. So we're going to wait a little bit with that. Nothing else is actually built. So we're just going to go on a little bit of a faster speed so we can send some people to the area. So we're going to have two people in the, actually just one in the mechanics workshop. And soon, actually, let me go into faster speed. We should be able to finish this. Another thing I like to build in the be beginning is a research lab, as this is going to allow us to, well, research new things. So let's build it like this. Now, as soon as our lift and our slope is ready. We're going to get our very first skier. So we're going to check them out in a moment. See, they're going to come out of here. Unless this is built. Now we could send one person to work at the snow groomer hanger. So we can make sure that we have a very nice 
you know, very, very nice snow. So it's easier for the people to drive through it and or ski through it, I should say. And we're getting over time new volunteers, which you can assign to different places. Okay, the, the research lab is going to go very quickly. Let's hope. And we should increase the priority here on the on the slope because we want to make sure that they get the slope down because then we can see our skiers. Let's assign one person to the research lab. Now, since we assigned the people in the research lab, we should start researching. So we can click over here and the research is actually fa fairly big, as you can see. It's a lot of you can also go, go down quite a lot. I think the first thing we'll want to get is these um, four person fixed grip chairlifts because this will allow you to get a lot more people to you know lift a lot more people further get them to some of these higher mountains so that you can get some good stuff now i have tried building like consecutive lifts this is something that you, i've seen in the resorts where i went skiing with there's like one lift for example that ends here and then you have another lift that's a little bit slower lower and then you have to sort of ski down to then go back up but it hasn't really worked for me i don't know if the bug was that it was up or if it was something else now you can click on these people and based on their clothes you can tell which like type of person there so we can click and focus on this person we've got one who is from the new fallen snow here we can see his total satisfaction 64 percent how much challenge he's looking for, how much comfort he has, and how much environment. So if his challenge is too high or something, obviously this is going to go down. You can also see his thoughts. I could do backslip if I wanted to. Next slop I'll show you. Huh. Seriously, that, that. And you can see that they are in the queue now. Let's go to fastest speed and we can follow him up. And we actually her, okay, I should say. Her. okay you can follow her up and we're also going to watch her drive down and you can see here it says problem q because obviously we only have one lift and we're starting to get a lot of skiers so they're a little bit unhappy that they have to wait around but i do want to show you how she sort of skis down eh, she's not the best you can see that she's not as good and as skilled here you can also click on the slope and you can see here the sort of homogeneity of this slope so this is actually showing you like how much of this is green how much is blue red and black and then you can choose your signposting you can actually change the signposting which is pretty cool because you can have like a black a slope and sign it as green and then the people are just going to fall down which is gonna be it's definitely gonna do it so it's quite because it's quite fun now thinking about this could we actually so actually i'm gonna try this lift thing because it didn't work for me in my test game but it would be fun if it worked here like if we could make like maybe like if we could do this and then let it go oh the gradient is too steep oh that's a bit unfortunate what if i went like this way too steep. Oh, that's such an unfortunate thing. I was really excited to show you that. Okay, how about what if we try to go in the other direction? Like we could go. No, I can't go that way because of the. This thing is kind of in the way. I don't think we can build it from here. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, do we want to try? Let's give that a shot. I again, I don't think it's gonna work. But we'll try it. We'll try it. And then we could make something. We're going to try to make like a black path down here. You can obviously connect some of these to each other. Okay, so black is maybe too, too hopeful. What if we try to go this way? Okay, can we at least make it blue? Doesn't look like... Well, actually... Yeah, this is not gonna, this is going to be green again. But we'll see, we'll see if this works, because like I said, didn't tech quite particularly work well in my test game, but we'll, we'll try it again. Maybe it was some, some other problem. Now, obviously, this is not going to be great for our congestion, because every, everybody still has to use this one-person lift to get there, and then they can only use the two-person lift. So obviously, we'd want to get another two-person lift here, but we could worry about that later. First, I just want to test out if this works. So while that's being built, I want to build a couple more uh, ski lifts. I want to make something like either red or black, like, you know, something proper for the, let's say, more experienced drivers. So let's get up here. At the moment, we can't have like super long lifts, but later on, we will be able to get something much longer. You can even have like a 16... 16 person lift, which I think is really cool. Yeah, so this is going to be at least blue which is good. I'm trying to keep this sort of ending point. Can I not go there? I cannot go there. 
yeah sort of near each other so that I could place a more lift because this way I have a space for another lift if I wanted to go either to, to this position or even if I wanted to place a lift that would go like somewhere here maybe near this so let's place a person here too actually and we're gonna see if someone can take this place yeah, I don't really think so but you know high hopes I'll let this go for a few minutes. At the moment there's no slope there, so there's no point for them to go that way, but we'll see, we'll see. Is this properly connected? Yes. Another thing you can do is build up here, is build a kiosk. So for example, we could build a kiosk this way, or even this way, and say, hey, you can go here and eat if you'd like. I really hope that this is going to work, but I don't think it will. Okay, never mind. Okay, right, let's send another person here, assign them, so that we could have people coming towards the slope. They wanted to. And this is going, so this is going to be blue. It has a little bit of red and a little bit of green, but it should be fairly okay. Fairly handleable. Yeah, you can see there's no one here. I'll keep it on for a little bit longer, but... I wish this is something that you could do, because it's something that you see in sort of real parks as well. And this is a slightly barrel below this, so they should be able to get to it. But yeah, because these these high food kiosks they do work this way. Like they can go to those. It just seems like this is not. Let's only have one person there, and we'll see. Now we gotta pick our new research. So we want this four-person fixed grip chairlift, and then afterwards I'm gonna go with maybe a soup bar. Let's make sure people can get a nice soup bar. So we have made this nice blue, but I would like something a bit more difficult. What if he just went straight down? It's, it's only going to be red. Straight down is pretty interesting though. I mean... Because you can go underneath this, so we could try to... Let's try to... I, I want to kind of turn and make this... Yeah, if we turn this, it's going to be a lot less red, unfortunately. You know what, let's just go straight down. We may make it difficult for them because they have to go over these. They have to go sort of in between these poles, which is a little bit difficult. I have to avoid this pole. <laughs> yes, I'm just making it hard on them for no particular reason. Yeah, there's nothing here. That's really unfortunate. Okay, we're just gonna destroy this. No one's going here, which means I can also destroy this particular slope there because it's pointless no one can go that way yeah so this one is considered blue i'm actually surprised by that that would be considered red we gotta find like a better slope how about this this looks good though i might want to wait for the four way uh four person lift first so let's see could we make another two person lift here if i were to make a lift from here would I connect it to there? Being blocked. Ideally I would like to do something where they can sort of connect up. The ski lift is too short and then it's too steep. Area is too steep for building. Yeah, we might need to wait for some sort of a lot longer or bigger lift that we could then use and then we'll connect up down here to this green and this is going to be like a slow finish from like a black. It's going from the top here. That could work. So let's actually try the four person person here. But I don't think this one's gonna work either. I think. Okay, if you try to go. This is all wait, did it work? Yeah, here. This is gonna be great. And now from here we're gonna create like a black that's gonna connect up on to the green that we had there. So let's start here with like a normal. Yeah, look at this. This is going to be perfect. I would like this to sort of turn a bit more so that it's not just like, you know, because this is just straight down, it's not nearly as fun, I think. M maybe here this final line could be a bit rougher and then we're going to try to turn and sort of soften it a little bit so that, because if I put it just straight down, they're going to go in, in at incredible speeds against these guys, which I don't think is going to be a problem in, in the game, but like in real life, it would be a pretty big deal because they're like, you are going to have these experts here just sort of flying into these beginners. And that's obviously not the thing you want to do. All right, is this skill if done? Okay, so let's put two people here. And this is going to be good for anyone who wants to ride like a black slope. But let me actually check the slope. 
Also, we have no research. Yeah, this is definitely black. Now we're gonna set this to green in a moment. I'm gonna show you what happened. So I would like repair training so we can do it, go a bit better at repairing. And I think a small shelter would be nice so people can sort of rest and relax. All right, so first of all, let's watch somebody who is... Uh... Do we have any, any black skiers? Doesn't seem like it actually. Let's send another person here for the attendants there. There's nobody using my super awesome ride. How dare you? Alright, you know what? We're gonna straight up assign this to like... We're gonna say that this is green. This should get the green guys to come over. Yeah, you can see them coming. And we're gonna watch them absolutely decimate themselves. <laughs> it's gonna be so great, trust me. It's gonna be so good. You could also kind of like drive on this chairlift. It's pretty interesting. It's gonna be really cool ones. Oh, now we've got a new profile, the Bold Adventure, which I think is those that like to drive on the black. So it's gonna be through in a moment. All right, so we're gonna watch them. A new fallen snow. Let's see how well they do. This is totally a green ride. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's happening? What's happening? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! They said it's green. What's going on? I mean, it must have been just this start. It's gonna be okay now, right? Oh my god! This is so tough. But she's holding on pretty well. I was expecting her to face plant by now. Yeah, you can see she's very unhappy about the challenge. She's like, what is this? I can do backflips, but I didn't really mean that. Why did you make me go on such a rough ride? Oh, but she made it. Okay, okay, I did not expect it. Let me watch someone else face plant. That was a bit of a disappointment. I wanted her to face plant. Can you? How about you? Are you also going to totally make it through? Because it's not fun if you can make it through. Like, I want to show my viewers that you can face blind. Come on. Yes! <laughs> okay, so now she face planted and she's going to stay there because apparently she can't get up until someone comes and save her. Okay, okay, apparently not. Sometimes they stay there until someone comes and save her. She has suffered a light fall, but she's fine now. But we do have the, this sort of snow patrol on the bottom. These guys who are going to come and help out. Now, because I'm I'm no longer interested in being cruel, I'm actually going to admit, hey, this is this is a black one. This is not an easy, easy ride. So just like calm down. So now obviously the green guys are gonna be kind of upset. And the green guy's like, oops, what did I go? You can see that the green guy has been super happy. And the reason why they went this way were because like, well, this is a really slow, we don't, I don't want to go to the super slow one. I'm just going to use this big one. But obviously that's a bit rough. Now I might want to do another ride from the other side that might actually be green. Actually, could we do it on the same side even? Like if I went for like a, a narrow, could I connect up from there? Oh, but this is also black. I'm trying to find something that would be... Oh, this is even rougher black. Okay, well that's... I, I guess we'll do two blacks then. I, I was trying to, because the problem is the way we have it now, right? Uh, the world adventure, they're gonna be quite happy. But the problem is as soon as they get to the green, their satisfaction is actually going to fall significantly. Because it's like, well, it's too easy now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to do like some rough turns. Oh, could we make them move between these houses? I think it's kind of fun. Actually, this end is gonna be a little bit boring. Oh, we can't go through this, so we're gonna have to have them... Okay, well, in that case, could you try to go this way? And we can squeeze it in. Okay, well then, we're gonna have to go to this side then. Um, it's um because I really wanted them to go between the houses, but it's not gonna work. So let's go this way. I hope this is gonna still be considered a, a black slope, but I, I I mean I think it should. Let's try to go like this. Yeah. So this is a because right. Let me actually show you. Do we have an any bold adventure? Let me check the skier types. Yes, we've got the bold adventures. Are you? No, you're red. I need someone who is... Have I said that this is black by now? Yes, I have. So is there anybody, any black rider? Come on. And I'm going to show you on their satisfaction that actually they will be kind of unhappy. Now we have a lot of skiers waiting for assistance. So I think what I'm going to do before we sort of watch the black riders, because we're not, we don't seem to get uh, enough. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up a new new ski patrol lodge so that we can just like make sure we're kind of protecting our people. Let's place this one kind of right next to the other one. And I'm going to put two volunteers after this is built. Now another thing I want to do, I want to create, I, I don't think we can, can we create like a soft, we're going to make it narrow, but like a green right from this sort of top part, or at least like with very slow amounts of like black this is red no, i want to i want to really make it soft no I, I don't think we can get that there okay this is red if we turn sort of aggressively okay this is almost no yeah i, I want to create this sort of like a red ish can really have to go like this. Come on, I need to soften you up. No, this is too much black. Maybe if I like try to really... No, it's not gonna work. You'd have to change the one we have and the editing of an existing is, is a little bit... It doesn't go that well for me. You could also create like a path like this. <laughs> and have them like, you can go both ways. <laughs> Look at them all face planted. <laughs> okay, we're working on this. That's good. We could just like assign two more people. So they're going to go up there and they're going to take care of our people. Now, like I said, we're going to watch these, these uh, bold adventures. The... Come on. Oh, let me actually follow follow this one. And we are going to see how well they do because their satisfaction is going to increase once they uh, ride that, that sort of first part. But then during the green part, it's going to be unhappy. And another thing I'd like to do is obviously, like I said, create the green option from up here as well. Ideally one that would connect to that, but I don't think we can do that. So let's watch them. Yeah, so they're going this way. Okay, so that's good. So we can watch the satisfaction a bit easier. So it's 73% now. And you can see they're doing fantastic. You <laughs> just drive through a person. <laughs> Look at that green person, so unhappy. You can see it's increasing 74% to 76. But obviously now their only choice is green, so they're a bit unhappy about that. They're like, well, their satisfaction is decreasing again. So that's why I built that sort of alternative path for them. And then I think I could do potentially is try to remove this and make this a softer, either like a blue or a green. Actually, we're going to do it because that's going to make the green guys a bit happier. And also someone who likes green doesn't necessarily mind so much if it's... Oh, this is not going. Actually, let, let me go back to narrow. Because I think the problem with... Uh... We're going to try to turn... The problem with large is that we can't really do these curves and these sort of like quick, fairly rough curves are kind of like the only thing that's stopping us from making this completely, completely black. Yeah, this is fairly going okay. There are a couple of sort of black turns, but someone who, who likes like, I think it's going to be considered like red going to be okay. Maybe I would like sort of like a bigger, almost like, like a bit of a bigger turn, like softer turn I mean, because we have made them go through a lot of rough turns, so this could go like this. And again, if I could make a ski leaf that would work, I would want to build a ski leaf that would go from here to something like up there. But yeah, it doesn't really seem to work for me. Okay, never mind. Still, this should be pretty good. We're also going to add another, let's say, a soup bar maybe up here so that our people can get some good food when they're sort of driving that way. And I'm also going to give a soup bar maybe to these... Um... Oh, this is all too steep. So we'll just put a soup bar kind of down here at the, let's say, beginning. So that once they sort of finish to ride the Black Adventures, they can actually go. Now, Skillift is waiting for a mechanic. Oh, that's this one. Okay. 
Do we not have enough mechanics? How is this doing? We only have one person here, so we definitely need to. You can also click here and you can see, you can first of all, you can see the resort and um, you can see the type of skiers that we've gotten towards. But you could also click on the services and you can here sort of manually assign them to different services. Maintenance, so we don't have enough people in some of the research labs or the ski patrols. Lifts, everybody where we can, and the slopes. So you can see that we have a lot of blue slopes. And so, so this is apparently considered blue. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. Yeah, this is blue. It has a lot of green, but this is good because the, the blue guys are, or I shouldn't be calling them blue guys. The, what are they called? The snowstruck lovers, they're going to be fairly okay, even on a green slope, as opposed to the bold adventures are obviously going to be quite unhappy. Now we can see that the attendance of this is actually quite low. So I like the fact that you can see sort of the attendance of these different slopes. You can even click on them here and you can see the condition, the perceived difficulty and the attendance. So we can see that the slope three, you could obviously rename it, which is this one. It's kind of the most popular at the moment. And we've got a new profile, slow plows. Yeah, these are again, like they like the green slope. And you can see the satisfaction of everybody. I really hope that the bold adventures, I would like to get a lot more of them because I make them like a personal Oh, we don't have any volunteers, so we'll take someone away from... Actually, I think we'll wait. We're gonna get a new volunteer very soon. We should actually play this on a faster speed so that we can get the new Bold Adventures a little bit faster. Okay, we can actually see that it's forming a line a little bit. And a lot of the gr um, blue and red slope loving people are coming over here. That's good. That's very good. I would still ideally like now you can really up there are some upgrades but i haven't found a good way to upgrade this but what we could try and i think this might work in this case actually destroy this and try to build a four person lift here now this thing does not always work the way you would expect sometimes it creates a bit of a problem so for example this lift is now not proper so we have to take a narrow thing and connect it up fully I think it will work like this. Sometimes it bugs, sometimes it works out. It really kind of depends on how like how lucky you are. But this could be good because we have a lot of these snow plows and obviously we want to make sure that they have a place to go to. Okay, at least one person can go there. Now, we need to continue our research. So, what's another thing we could research? I'm going to try to get a tea room. And snow tires. Actually, let's remove the snow t uh, the tier and we'll go straight up to the... Okay, fine. I guess we won't. Yeah. Let's go straight up to the snow tires. And we'll work on lightweight pole attachment. With six pounds less per pole, the motor will have more available power so it can run, run faster. Great progress, right? So we'll increase the ski house. Actually, we don't have any because we're using the other thing. So we'll remove the light poles and work on adjustable tension instead. Reduce wear and tear on chairlifts, that's better. Now once we get enough research, we're gonna be able to progress to the next sort of research area. And then another thing you can do is you can pick a type of your resort. So you can say, for example, you're gonna be focusing on speed and that gives you the 10 person gondola, or you're gonna be focusing on like length of slopes and things like that, and that gives you like a different option. So that's something that you can do that's actually quite cool. Yeah, you can see now that I've built this, a lot of people are coming and trying to wait for this. So the attendance obviously a lot higher, which will also mean that the attendance for the slope is going to be much, much higher. We're gonna, if we actually go at the faster speed, you can see yeah, the attendance is super increasing. Also, a lot of people are coming here. So this is actually pretty good. The attendance is almost full for this four person ski lift. And we still have a fairly low attendance on this sort of black slope though. But this one, and this one as well, I think this could, these two slopes could actually use another lift. Like we could have two different lifts that would try to help you get to this particular area. Because you can see that this one lift is obviously not doing enough here. And it's at almost full attendance if you look at the lift here. It does require maintenance, so that might be a reason why it's going a little bit slower, but still. So, yeah, so this is Snowtopia. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, write down in the comments and let me know if you'd like to see another episode of this game. Otherwise, you can click on the right towards some other building games that we've seen, that we've played on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.